Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about digital sinusoidal oscillator. Okay, so what is that? You might have already studied in your analog electronic circuit course about the topic oscillator. Okay, there you have designed the oscillator using transistor or that may be operational amplifier or that may be MOSFET, that kind of active devices you have used to design oscillator in analog domain. Now, similarly, in digital domain also, to generate sinusoidal signal that may be sine waveform, cos waveform of a particular frequency, we require oscillator, right, which will generate the sine or cos signal of our desired frequency. So, for that, digital sinusoidal oscillator is used, okay. So, like here, uh, recall the analog electronic circuit concept, what you were doing? Uh, we have uh, already made one circuit with oscillator and then just for a very small uh, duration of time in the initial time we just give one voltage okay and then rest of the time we never give any voltage from the input side only DC signal is present and the noise in the circuit will sustain the oscillation okay. So basically here you can see that steady state input signal for short time if we give after that we get one kind of oscillatory waveform. Okay, how the oscillation generates, what is the function of oscillator etc. In analog domain I have discussed in detail like cold pit oscillator, hardly oscillator, RC phase shift oscillator, blah blah blah, Barkhausen criteria. If you want to know those details, please check the link given in the description. I am not discussing the analog domain here because here I am discussing digital signal processing. So we should think about digital signal instead of this kind of continuous waveform. We should think about what discrete signal. Okay. So how we can generate such system uh, which will give us output like sine or cosine signal? Very simple. See, you have already studied in jet transformation. That is jet transformation of a cos omega naught n u of n is nothing but this one a into 1 minus z to the power minus 1 cos omega naught by 1 minus 2 z to the power minus 1 cos omega naught plus z to the power minus 2. And the jet transform of a sin omega naught n u of n is a z to the power minus 1 sin omega naught by 1 minus 2 z to the power minus 1 cos omega naught plus z to the power minus 2. There is denominator for both the cases same just numerator is different okay so this transfer function we can use to generate sine and cos signal what we will do we will define one system with numerator and denominator coefficient and we will give what delta signal okay or impulse signal as input so as a result in the output what we will get the response corresponding to impulse signal that is impulse response impulse response means system response the system response is what that is this particular system's response is what that nothing but cos omega naught n and sin omega naught n which is nothing but oscillation sinusoidal waveform that's all our intention is achieved so suppose what is the uh, what we are achieving in this way so basically suppose i am telling you suppose omega naught equal to i am telling you any random frequency suppose uh, pi by 4 okay I am telling you a as 5 so I am basically I am giving you this specification that is generate one 5 fold waveform of uh, frequency pi by 4 suppose this signal is cosine signal then what you will do you just put a equal to 5 and you need to put only one cosine value that is cos pi by 4 here okay no cos expression you are putting just cos pi by 4 value you are putting and then if you pass delta signal in the output you will get one cosine waveform which is having amplitude of 5 volt and the uh, frequency as pi by 4 in radian that's all okay so from for a particular value of cos of omega naught if we know and the from the specification we can generate simply one discrete waveform okay discrete waveform like this uh, the signal will go in periodic uh, it will have periodic nature okay so now let us directly go to MATLAB uh, uh, I hope this much theory is sufficient so see suppose I am asking you to generate a sign signal of 5 volt amplitude and frequency of pi by 10 in radian okay so what is sine pi by 10 let me compute here in radian sine pi 
by 10 sin pi by 10 you will get as 0 0.3090 this one okay so what is our new uh, sorry what is our numerator and denominator coefficient if we have to generate sign signal see num here i am writing num equal to numerator coefficient is equal to what see a z to the power minus 1 sin omega naught so first coefficient should be constant term which is absent so that is 0 and next one a sin omega naught here a is 5 fold and sin omega naught is how much we have achieved 0 0.3090 let me take up to four decimal place okay so this is our numerator coefficient all right denominator coefficient is what denominator coefficient will be 1 minus 2 z to the power minus 1 cos omega naught z to the power minus 2 so first one is 1 minus 2 cos omega naught second coefficient so 2 sorry let me compute just cos omega naught mm cos of cos of sorry cos of pi by 10 which will give me 0 0.9511 one, one something okay so 2 into 0 0.9510 and z to the power minus 2 coefficient is 1 okay so this is my numerator and denominator coefficient in this system if we pass delta or impulse signal as input after filtering whatever output we will get that will be having uh, the frequency as pi by 4 in radian and amplitude as 5 fold and the waveform will be sine waveform let us verify in matlab see same code i have written nothing i have changed clc clear all close all numerator as 5 and then uh, sorry this is cosine of this is sine of m yeah clc clear, clear all close all numerator is 0 5 into 0 0.3090 as i have shown you 5 into 0 0.3090 and denominator coefficient is 1 minus 2 into 0 0.95111 see that's what i have written here 1 minus 2 into 0 0.95101 here instead of 0 you have to take 1 sorry here i have written by mistake this will be 1 because the cos pi by 10 we are getting as 0 0.951056 so if we round off we will get up to four decimal place we will get 0 0.9511 okay so that's what i have written here numerator denominator coefficient then n equal to 0 to 100 the time sample range in the input i am defining then i am making one delta signal x equal to n equal to equal to 0 then y equal to filter num comma den comma x stem n comma y that's all let us check whether it is generating sign signal of our frequency of pi by 10 in radian or not. See, you can clearly see this is five. Uh, this is sine waveform. This is having amplitude 5 fold. This is also quite clear. Now we have to determine whether the frequency in radian is pi by 10 or not. So pi by 10 means what? You know that capital N, X of N equal to X of N plus M in a discrete sequence where capital N or period is 2 pi into one integer small m by omega, right? Two, that we say as 2 pi m by omega. So here, what is omega? Pi by 10. So 2 into pi into m by pi by 10. That is nothing but 20 m. m equal to 1 if you take output should be 20 so cos pi by 10 having period 20 in the discrete sequence you can easily compute uh, okay so let us count whether it is following after 20 sample it is repeating or not see this is first sample second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. See, after 20 sample, here 0 was arriving, after 20, 0 is arriving. Here, here close to 2 some sample was arriving, here also close to 2 some sample is arriving. It, it is having the period of pi by 10, amplitude is 5, we can clearly see between 4 and 6, uh, exactly at the middle part it is, uh, we are getting. Or otherwise, if you want, you can uh, verify via tools also, so here data cursor will be there see data cursor if you take and put here see what value it is giving see x as 5 y as 5.002 okay so in, uh, due to improper 
placement of the data cursor it is giving this much uh, up to decimal places but exact will be 5 okay so this is what is about sine now let us go to cos so now i am asking you design one cosine waveform of pi by 10 radian and of amplitude 5 volt so what will be my numerator a minus a z to the power minus 1 cos omega naught so first coefficient constant is a second is a into cos omega naught cos omega naught is cos pi by 10 cos pi by 10 we have seen 0 0.9511 so it will be here minus sign will be there and here 0 0.9511 will be there because minus a cos omega naught is the coefficient for the numerator okay all right denominator coefficient will be same yeah it will be same now let us check whether this will give us cosine waveform or not see same code i have written clc clear all close all just simply change the numerator coefficient 5 minus 5 into 0 0.9511 as i have shown you and denominator coefficient is same only and then same a pass one delta signal and get the impulse response and plot that we should get one cosine waveform of 5 volt and omega as pi by 10 let us check so see here cosine waveform we are getting you can clearly understand that this is cosine waveform having amplitude 5 volt this is also quite clear just we have to verify once more that whether it is having period of 20 or not because cos pi by 10 is also having period as 20 okay 20 is after 20 samples it, it should repeat let us count one here at zero it we are getting five five fold so let us check when again we will get five fold so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty see after 20 sample again we are getting the five fold so the repetition after 20 sequence that means it is having the uh, frequency as pi by 10 in radian okay so this is how see nowhere i have used cosine and sine signal just i have used one particular value only at a particular frequency that frequency in which we have to generate our sinusoidal signal that at that particular frequency what is the sine or cos value if we know and uh, if we know what is the amplitude in which we have to generate the sinusoidal signal simply we can put here and we can get our desired waveform okay so this is how our digital sinusoidal oscillator works which is very simple to design compared to our analog circuit we have to uh, i hope you remembered how much difficulty we were getting in analog circuit design and then also some accuracy error noise was uh, making uh, the waveform improper those things were there we have to take in care of all these things but here in digital domain you can see how simple it is to generate one sinusoidal waveform right i hope you understood this this is all for my this video thank you for watching